Hello and welcome to ONTV Cooking. I'm your host Monique Maxim and today we're doing a show called Summer Sparklers in the spirit of our Dragon on the Lake fireworks that we have every year. So I want to get started with what I call my firecracker shrimp and I was lucky enough to have this in a place called Loss O Loss. It was at a restaurant called YOLO and this is what I call my firecracker, firecracker shrimp. This is what I call my firecracker shrimp, so I'm going to remake that for you now. Now, I purchased this avocado mash at our local store. You're welcome to take avocados and mash them by hand, but for the sake of um, I've opened many avocados and have them be brown and disappointing for you, so I want it to be beautiful today. So I picked up this avocado mash, and it's easy way for you to get started too. So this avocado mash is easily available. And then just go ahead and poke in a couple of chips around the side. I serve chips extra on the side, but I just poke a few chips in here. And when I was served this, they had a metal... Um, container and a uh, piece of paper in there but I knew I had these cups at home for you so I wanted to present it this way for you and then I just take a dozen shrimp you know like about six shrimp these are called firecracker shrimp you can do any kind of shrimp that you want these are seasoned with some little bit of red pepper and some bay seasoning and that. So I put about a half a dozen shrimp in there and then I put the secret touch there. I'm gonna break this chip so it'll fit in there a little bit better for me. I take a little bit of this Oaxaca cheese and so I put the Oaxaca cheese, just a little pinch of that on the side there and there you have your firecracker shrimp and once you pull your chip out of there you'll have a delicious bit of that avocado on there. So let me just whip up a second one for you and show you just how fast it can be. So just add your avocado mash, tuck a couple of your cute little chips around there, add your shrimp that's seasoned with your chili and bay, a little bit of red pepper, whatever seasoning you like. These have a little bit of a kick to them, but you can have them as spicy or as mild as you like. If you have big shrimp, you can just put a few, littler shrimp, tuck in a few more, and then again, finish off with this Oaxaca cheese, which is really cool. Melts up really nice on top of that shrimp there. And the final thing for our firecracker shrimp appetizer is we're gonna add just a little pinch of cilantro on top there and these are going to be delicious they're beautiful your guests are going to love them and we are going to be right back and i'm going to show you our pretzel sparklers orion neighborhood television is your community media outlet our mission is to empower community members and groups to create communicate and connect through television and video production for more than 35 years, ONTV has offered video production classes to residents of all ages and provides them with the equipment and facilities to produce their own programs. Not only are residents encouraged to produce programs, but ONTV staff produces programs that promote local nonprofits and community groups like the Chamber of Commerce, the Orion Township Public Library, and the Lake Orion Lions Club, to name a few. The staff ventures out into the community to cover events like parades, festivals, concerts, and high school sports. ONTV has provided the equipment and staffing to televise township and village meetings live and has provided the video equipment that Lake Orion High School students use as they prepare for a career in broadcasting. ONTV's podcast studio and training give producers an opportunity to educate and entertain listeners. To sign up for classes or for more information, Call 248-393-1060 or visit orionontv.org. Welcome back. Now I'm going to show you a simple way to jazz up your pretzels. So just take any standard candy bar, milk chocolate candy bar, and put it into your tea water. Uh, it's just plain hot water. And you'll see in no time at all, it will melt. So that's what I've done here. This one's been in there. Uh, just a minute, just a minute, and I'm going to uh, slide it down like this, and I'm just going to cut the edge off of this chocolate bar. You don't want to make it too big. Cut the, just nip the corner a little bit, 
and I'm going to move this out of your way. And then just gently squeeze that hot chocolate up and just start drizzling it back and forth over your pretzels. Once you've done it that way, you can drizzle it the other way. And then I'm going to go ahead and throw some of these non-parels on here with these beautiful colors that remind me of all of the colors that we see in the fireworks show that they put on for us. And once this chocolate hardens, well, you can go ahead and just slide this off into a Ziploc bag and take it with you wherever you're going there. So there's our pretzel sparklers, and I hope you'll enjoy make these with the kids. It couldn't be any simpler. And don't forget to include those elders. They love doing things too, and it's so easy and so fun. And so we just want easy ways for you to enjoy your fireworks fun this summer. Welcome back. Now I'm going to make for you our Lemonade Butterfly Kiss Mocktail. You know, it's very important to me when we get together that we always remember to make lots of mocktails. There's lots of people um, living a sober life for lots of new reasons, and I love that. So this one right here, I have made up some special ice cubes for you today. So you can make all different kinds of ice cubes. These are little pineapples. These are the sticks that you make in your um, freezer and put in your water bottle. But this is the butterfly sweet pea tea. That's a mouthful. But that's what's giving me this beautiful blue color here. And because of our fireworks celebration, I've made you some sweet pea stars out of the ice and I've got some um, pineapples and all kinds of fun things made out of the sweet pea tea. And then I'm going to go ahead and add this lemonade to it. I'm going to toss these in here. They will keep my lemonade nice and cool. And there you have it, your sweet pea tea lemonade mocktail well that's all we have for you today on our summer sparkle show but we hope you have a great fun safe time this summer and i hope you'll give a try at making my firecracker shrimp remember it's just as easy as getting a little avocado mash a couple of spicy shrimp some ohaka cheese and those taco chips on the side i like the taco chips as thin as you can get them that's my little secret and the butterfly sweet pea tea, well, I had to order mine online. So give a try at that. It's so fun. Uh, you can see how beautiful the colors are. And this is a delicious mocktail. So remember to include lots of non-alcoholic drinks at your summer fun parties. And our summer sparkle pretzels, so fun and so easy to do with the kids and the elders. So I hope you'll do that. Thank you for joining me today in the ONTV kitchen. And I hope I see you again here real soon.